Hey everyone, so at E3 this year, this one came out of the blue just a touch. A full-on Xbox port of the stunning Nier Automata. A collaboration between Square Enix and the brilliant Platinum Games that gained rave reviews when it was released in March 2017. Now in theory we're just going to be looking at a straight port here, but there's something about the Xbox One X version in particular that stands out. Jump over to Microsoft's list of X enhancements and Nier Automata is listed as having full 4K HDR support and that's remarkable. PS4 Pro renders this game at a native 1080p and despite this relatively lowly pixel count it still can't lock to 60 frames per second. A quick look at Xbox One X confirms a sharper image and this is potentially a stunning turn of events because for some bizarre reason, Nier is actually a massive, expensive game to render. So allow me to demonstrate here. I've broken out the PC version here and I'm targeting native 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. But here's the thing, even with the mighty Titan X Pascal GPU and a Core i7 7700K with an all-core turbo locked to 4.5 GHz, I've actually had to dial back settings here. In fact, I've actually had to employ the use of the FAR mod to get anything like consistent performance. Now bear with me here because even a year on from release, the PC port of Nier isn't exactly in good shape. Full screen support still doesn't work properly, making the FAR mod essential. But more than that, Platinum Games has employed a global illumination system that is massively taxing on GPU resources and unless you've hacked in SLI support, 4K60 isn't going to happen. What I've done here is to drop the GI setting from the default Ultra to the mod's medium setting. Now aside from a slight pairing back of shade, the effect is very similar overall. I've also dropped shadows to medium just for additional GPU headroom here. This isn't the best like for like comparison but you can see the effect that this has here. There's simply more stability with optimized settings and while you're not guaranteed 4K60 throughout the game, it's clearly a lot more consistent at that target frame rate. And man, Nier Automata really is a beautiful game. It harkens back to an era where the Japanese style was ascendant in gaming, characterized by intense combat imagination fueled environment and character design and of course where the player is besieged regularly by huge bosses and bullet storms. Nier is awesome because on top of its typical third person action gameplay it mixes things up all of the time. Start the game and you may mistake it for a vertically scrolling shooter or a side scrolling shooter or a twin stick shooter. Just the first level bamboozles you with a never shifting perspective tossing Platinum Games know-how in crafting a superb action game and it's clear why this title made it onto John's top 5 of 2017. It's a demanding game and we can assume that this also explains why the title runs at just 900p on the standard PlayStation 4 and 1080p on the Pro. And so, by extension, the question is really simple. Yes, of course, Xbox One X is the most powerful console, but the concept of Nier Automata running at 4K still seems kind of unlikely, unless Platinum has really optimized specifically for the Microsoft platform. Well, let's dive in and see what we have then. But I've got to be honest with you here, the Xbox One version of the game, well, its presentation is curious to say the least. Side by side with the Pro running at 1080p there is no doubt whatsoever that you get a cleaner, more defined look to the game. And while it's very early days with this analysis, first impressions suggest that the visual makeup is indeed 2160p. It's just that right now we kinda suspect that it's 1920 by 2160 half native 4K resolution which then goes through a reconstruction technique that may well be some kind of checkerboarding variant in order to hit the full 3840 by 2160 output. So reconstruction, yes, but the nature of that reconstruction, well that's something we'll have to examine in more depth when the game ships. Right now we have just a quarter hour of 4K60 capture taken from the title's E3 presentation at the Microsoft Showcase 
not exactly the best conditions for getting everything we want from the game for analysis purposes. So rightly or wrongly, Nier Automata has a reputation of, well, kind of being abandoned in terms of developer support since launch, but the fact that we are seeing reconstruction here suggests that some effort has been put into the Xbox One X port. There's an attempt here to make the game look better on 4K screens, but I've got to say that the actual reconstruction technique used is kind of lacking. Now, Nier always had an aliasing issue, particularly on elements of this level, and pausing the action and zooming in, it's easy to see that there are a number of issues. First up, sub-pixel detail. The breakup you see here is pretty ugly on the Xbox One X, and when there isn't breakup, then we have clean, high contrast geometric edges, and yeah, even here, the presentation isn't great, giving the illusion of some pretty basic upscaling, actually. And then there are the reconstruction artifacts, which are kind of everywhere. And on top of that, there's the sense of some oversharpening going on too. One thing common to all versions of the game, and yeah, this extends to running PC maxed at 4K as well. Textures, well, they definitely seem built for 1080p screens, so they can look rather blurry when running on an Ultra HD display. One thing's for sure though, there is additional resolution here, and this translates into an improvement in anisotropic filtering quality. Now, I'm not saying that it's improved over Pro in terms of whether it's 4X, 8X or whatever, but more resolution gives more sampling to the texture filtering, giving a cleaner look. So it is early days with this near automata analysis, and it's difficult to fully get to grips with what reconstruction technique the developer is using here. What we can say is that in motion, the artifacting isn't so bad. It's more the sub-pixel breakup and hard geometric elements that sort of stick out. John actually did the hands-on capture for this one, and he reports that from first picking up the pad, it was clear that we are indeed looking at a significantly crisper presentation than the PS4 Pro version. So, yeah, our initial thoughts are of a reconstructed 1920 by 2160 for now, and it's kind of borne out perhaps by artifacting like this on the enemy robot shadow maps. There's the suggestion of a vertical interlace there, perhaps? Yeah, this is an interesting one for sure, but let's stick with that theory for now. If we are looking at a two times resolution increase over Pro, are there any potential drawbacks? Okay, so let's flash back to our performance data for the console versions that are already out there, PS4 Amateur and PS4 Pro. Both target 60 frames per second, and although there are some curious inconsistencies that see the base unit outperform the Pro, generally speaking, the supercharged version of the console delivers higher frame rates, along with bonus graphical goodies like more refined texture filtering, a pass of post-process AA, and the inclusion of per-object motion blur, but crucially, you can see that even limited to 1080p, the Pro's 4.2 teraflop GPU isn't enough to consistently deliver a locked 60 frames per second. So let's go head-to-head -head between X and Pro, and immediately you'll see that at their best, both of the enhanced consoles hand in 60 frames per second, but something we noted back in the day on PlayStation was a curious intermittent hitching, and you can see it here as the bridge drops. No problem at all on the Xbox One X, which plows on at 60 frames per second as per normal. As we move into combat, though, we lose our like-for-like -like lock, and you'll note that in highly explosive scenes, the X is still losing performance. So no, there is no 60 frames per second lock here, based on this demo code at least. In this sense, then, Nier operates quite similarly to the PlayStation 4 Pro version. But the key point of separation is going to come in the boss battles, where the engine is really put under stress. The dynamic nature of the gameplay, again, makes like-for-like -like comparisons difficult. And yeah, the key takeaway really is that neither Pro nor X lock to 60. Some of the boss sections do fleetingly allow for a like-for-like -like stress test, and some scenarios here show the X outperforming Pro even with that resolution increase. That said, as soon as bandwidth sapping effects kick in, the frame rate can drop hard. Just speculation here for now based on the limited data we have, but if this effects buffer is native 4K, that may explain why performance drops harder here than it does on Pro. So we've only got a very small sample of footage here, but there is the question of the game's visual feature set. This is something we'll look at more closely and in more depth once we can run 
both retail versions side by side, but by and large we're not getting the full PC experience on X, which is fairly similar overall to the Pro's visual feature set. However, there are a couple of interesting points to pick up on here. First of all, while it's hardly a deal breaker, dynamic shadow quality on X seems to be softer than it is on Pro, as you might pick out if you check out 2B's shadow here. However, for its part, Xbox One X seems to add to the existing motion blur implementation seen on Pro. Both consoles have per object motion blur with a nice high sample count, but Xbox One X seems to have a camera blur component as well. Ok, so I'm going to knock the X and Pro comparisons on the head here and jump back to some base PS4 versus Pro performance tests. So here's the thing, I think we've established that Nier Automata is a demanding game, right? Pro at 1080p drops frames. X with whatever reconstruction technique it's using also drops frames, and the PC build. Yeah, it's monstrously demanding to the point where a mod is needed to get a decent, but still not flawless, 4K experience on a single GPU setup. So yeah, we're dropping frames there as well. And as you can see from the Base vs Pro head to head here, Nier Automata on the standard system shaves off graphic features, decreases resolution by 30% and still runs slower than the Pro version generally. And as we all know, there's a distinct power hierarchy in the current gen console, so from top to bottom, it's Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, base PS4 and then finally Xbox One S. And so the elephant in the room is this, just how much will the developer need to cut in order to get a decent performance profile for Nier on the standard Xbox? Well the game's out next week so I guess we'll find out soon enough, but in the meantime that's all I've got for you. Do like and subscribe to support the work we do and yes if you've subbed please ring the bell to get instant notifications of new DF content drops. We're also still posting more exclusive content for our Patreon supporters over at digitalfoundry.net so if you like what we do and you want to support us a little bit more every month and get pristine quality video downloads for your efforts, well you know what to do. But from me for now, thanks for watching.